Superstar fashion designer Karl Lagerfeld has died in Paris. The German designer, who is the creative director for Chanel and Fendi, was one of the industry's most prolific figures. Joining us now from London with the latest is CTV's Geneviève Bouchemin. Geneviève, thanks so much for being here this morning. What do we know so far? Well, we know that he was taken to a Paris hospital last night, and he apparently died early this morning. There's not a lot of detail. We don't know a lot about his personal life and just how ill he was. There were some rumors circulating earlier in January when he actually missed one of the Chanel haute couture fashion shows, which he had never missed before. So there was a lot of talk at the time that perhaps he wasn't doing well, that he was ailing. Not a lot of information has come through from Chanel itself, but we do know that he has passed away. And so many reactions have just been pouring in, Ben. Yes, talk to us about some of that reaction. How are people reacting to this? Well, talk, people are talking about just how prolific he was, just how big of a creative genius he was. You know, Victoria Beckham has tweeted about that. A lot of people, he had a lot of very, very well-known figures among his clients. You know, they talk about the fact that even in his 80s, he was still designing about 14 new lines of fashion, 14 new collections a year when many of his fellow designers were just, you know, relaxing away. He was still going. People are talking about the fact that he just couldn't stop designing. He apparently slept at night with a pen and paper beside his bed to draft down these ideas. And some of these were grand ideas. Some of those fashion shows were things like he, there was a 265 ton iceberg that was shipped in from Sweden at one point for his fashion shows. Um, an airport hangar that was built just for his fashion shows, just to you know, show off his lines that he had designed. And he had done so much. He was doing so. He was designing for Chanel. And you know, he was behind those interlocking seas that became so famous. He was designing for Fendi. He was designing for his own line as well, just never taking a talking about the fact that designing for him was like breathing. And if he didn't design, he was in big trouble. Uh, Geneviève, French media is reporting that Lagerfeld was 85, but there, there are also reports circulating that his age is a mystery and that he actually had two birth certificates. What, what can you tell us about that? Absolutely, Ben. It's part of the Lagerfeld aura, really. The air of mystery that he had cultivated about his private life is on evidence right there. At times, he was do giving interviews talking about the fact that he was at least five years younger than he was when he was 75 years old, uh, according to what we now believe is the real date. He was telling everyone he was 70 years old. At other times, he was shaving off two years off his life, always shaving time off. But really, um, really, it was hard to pin him down on that. And he he often talked about, that was just as it was hard to pin him down on his private life, he really was very, very closed about that. As eccentric, as prolific as he was, and how much he quoted all the time, he talked a lot. There were Carlisms, he said, about so many things, talking about the, the designs, talking about sweatpants, talking about uh, fashion as being so, um, you know, elegance, being a, an attitude, but about his private life, we didn't know much. Well, Geneviève, he was indeed an icon. He will be missed. Uh, this, this is a, a death that will be felt uh, throughout the fashion world. Uh, we thank you again for your time today.